Hi everybody, it's uh, been a while since we posted a video to the site, but there's some really huge news that's come out of Microsoft, and um, apparently in December 2012 they announced that they are basically pulling the plug on Expression Web and these other Expression Blend um, projects. Uh, apparently they want to put more um, of their time into developing Visual Studio, uh, which is more on the in my view, it's more on the developer side than on the designer side. Uh, Expression Web has always been a, a friendly program for people that don't know a lot of the code uh, but are interested in still creating websites and, and like seeing uh, working in a, an environment where they can see the, web, uh, see the website, actually work in the design uh, view. Uh, but anyway, you know, um, that's kind of bad news. Uh, the good news is uh, that actually you can get Expression Web for for free now as a as a download. So it's basically not not an open source software, but it's free. So it's hard to complain about the price of that. So that's pretty amazing. So the bad news is they're pulling the plug on it. The good news is you can get it for free. There's a couple things uh, with that, and, and one is there might be some glitches in the program. I've, I've heard a couple people complain of some glitches, and, and Microsoft probably won't be fixing those, so you have to learn to live with those. The other thing is people may say, you know, is it even worth the effort to learn, you know, if the program is going to go away? And uh, I would say yes, because a lot of what you learn in Expression Web would transfer over to any other HTML editing program, uh, Dreamweaver or anything else. So um, I would say, yeah, it's definitely worth learning. And uh, going forward, you should be able to build websites, you know, f with it for five, ten years, you know. So that should be sufficient. I did notice that um, in Expression Web 4, if we go into it right here, if you go down to the bottom here, you can see where you can set your uh, scheme options, uh, schema options. And um, I do see for Expression Web 4, it does have um, a declaration uh, type for HTML5, which is the, the standard that everything will be moving toward. So um, Expression Web 4 is set to um, position itself to, to be compliant with HTML5, so you should be good going forward with Expression Web. I, I would continue to use it. I continue to use it. Um, I'm sorry to see that there's uh, one less competitor in the field, but uh, it's been it's a good program for what it does for creating basic websites. It's it, it gets the job done, and the price is totally right now. <laughs> so I would download a, a version of it, and um, you know we're still around and we still answer questions when we can. And uh, thanks so much for your time, and have a great day.